Hey, what's up guys? Jose here, ShreddedDad.com. In today's video, I'm gonna give you a quick review of the Mantis mount. Now, the Mantis mount is a very simple device that's gonna solve a very common problem. We all have that problem where we can't reach to our middle and upper back area. So that is what the Mantis mount does. It allows you to mount your massage gun to different surfaces so that you can reach those hard to reach areas. Let me show you how it works. It's very simple. So I have the massage gun attached the mantis mount is here mounted onto my squat rack so i'm going to turn this on so i can reach the middle and upper back area so as you can see the massage gun stays in place it doesn't move and that's what's perfect about this. You can get to those hard to reach areas without a third hand. Now, another way I use it is by getting into the chest, digging into the chest, the shoulders area. I basically lean into this, put pressure on there so that you can get a little bit of a deeper massage. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna show you exactly what the Mantis mount is all about. I'm gonna show you how it's just a simple piece of equipment, but it's gonna solve that very common problem of not being able to reach your upper back and middle back area. Here's what's inside the box. You have a long strap, a short strap, the Mantis mount, and then a carrying bag. And the carrying bag we're also gonna be using as a backstop whenever we have to mount this onto a door frame. So the way this works is that you're gonna be using two straps to hold the massage gun in place. So it's double secured, which means the massage gun is not going anywhere. Now the mantis mount, this is the front of the mantis mount. This is where your massage gun is gonna sit. And the back here is what goes against whatever mounting surface you choose. Now this over here has a slit on the side. If I run my hand, you can see it right behind the slit. And then it has an opening, a gap here and also here, and that's where the straps are gonna go. So I'm gonna give you a quick run through of how this works. So you're gonna have the massage gun sit here. So it sits right here. Then you're gonna have a short strap, strapping it down to the mount, and then the long strap is gonna go up here. And that long strap is also going to connect to whatever mounting surface you choose. And that's the whole concept behind this. It's just an easy way to secure the massage gun so that you can get to those hard to reach areas. So now I'm gonna show you the step-by-step -step process and then we're gonna mount it into different surfaces. So the first thing you wanna do is get the small strap Then you're going to thread it through that slit on the side, the slit right there. We're gonna thread it through there. Now I have it on both sides here and now we're gonna put the massage gun in the middle. But first what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a small loop here just to have this ready, make it easier. Put it through the buckle. There we go. And then I'm going to just sit the massage in there in the middle. And now all I'm gonna do is I'm just going to tighten this, make it tighter so that it stays, keeps the massage gun in place there. And just pull as hard as you can. And then you have the massage gun there on the mount. Okay, so just like that, very simple. There's the buckle on this side. So now what we have to do is use the longer strap. The longer strap is gonna go over here, go through that slit, and then go around whatever the mounting surface is. But that's how simple it is to set up the initial strap, the small strap. So now it's time to use the long strap. Now this is gonna secure the mount and the gun to your mounting surface. Now in this case, I'm using a squat rack. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to throw the strap around the squat rack, or this could be a pole as well and I'm going to create a small loop here. So I'm threading the strap through the buckle. And then once we get that in there, then we're going to create a small loop. And then once we create that small loop, then we can bring the mount with the massage gun, insert it through that loop there. And then we can start slowly making the strap a little bit tighter, okay? So one important thing here to note is that you wanna make sure the strap is going through the gaps here on the mount on both sides and that you slowly start tightening this up, making sure that the gaps are still in there or that the strap is still going through the gap. Now, before I make this very, very tight, what you wanna make sure is that you have it at a level, at a height where it's going to hit those hard to reach areas like the upper back, mid back area. So you wanna make sure you get it 
a little below the top of the sternum. Okay, so once it's there, it's around that level area, I'm going to hold the gun and I'm gonna pull real hard on this. Make sure it's really, really secure on there. And then the massage gun is in place. So just that simple, the mount is on the squad rack. I'm gonna turn this on. So now I'm going to show you how to mount this on a door frame. Now I'm going to show you how to mount the Mantis mount onto a door frame. We're going to use the Mantis bag and the long strap for this. So the bag, we're going to fold it into different squares and then we're going to use this as a backstop. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a small loop just like so. We're going to wrap the strap around that little bag and then we're going to open the door insert it through the through the door there close the door and then pull to cut any slack off of that and now just like in the, in the squat rack before we're going to create a loop here just to get this ready to insert a mount through here there we go I'm gonna grab the mount got the mount insert it through here again we're gonna make sure that the straps are going through the gaps on the sides of the mount and now I'm going to make sure that this fits tightly around the door frame. And then just like we did on the squat rack, I'm just going to start pulling on the strap here slowly until we have it very tight on there. There we go. And now it's set up to use on a door frame. And of course you want to make sure you get this at about the height, just a little bit below the sternum. And you can use this for, for many, many massage gun brands. You can use it for Hypervolt, Tim Tam, Theragun, and other knockoff brands that you see on Amazon or even at, at your local convenience store. So there you have it, guys. That's my review on the Mantis mount. It's a great little tool, very simple, but it's going to solve a very common problem. If you own a massage gun, you know how hard it is to reach the upper back, middle back area. So this is going to let you mount your massage gun to many, many different places and get that relief from those tension and sore areas. So what I've done is for those of you that already own a massage gun, I contacted the company, the Mantis Mount Company, and they've agreed to give me a coupon code. So I'm going to leave a link below this video. If you're interested in something like this, click that link. And when you get to checkout, use the coupon code shredded, and that's going to give you a 15% discount. I hope you like the information in this video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Leave me your comments and questions down below, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.